What now? An invitation, a supper, tete-a-tete, -tete, from a woman, Madame Beauchamp. I regret I'm busy. But Edmund, one of the most beautiful women in Paris. Beauty without grace is the hook without bait. <laughs> Go on. His Excellency the Sicilian Ambassador begs that he may do himself the honour of calling upon you on Monday the 13th of June. Hmm. wonder what he wants. I haven't the slightest idea. More money, I expect. You gave him half a million for the relief of Sicilian fishermen after the storm last month, remember? You must be right. I never met the Sicilian Ambassador. What's his name? Antonio Cavalcanti. What's the matter? You two look as if you've heard Gabriel's horn on the Day of Judgment. Not the day of judgment, perhaps the day of reckoning. What are you talking about? No, Jacopo. It's time for running and time for standing still. It happened so long ago, perhaps he has forgotten. Antonio Cavalcanti. Another man by the same name? I hardly think so. Will somebody please tell me what's going on? Of course, Rico. It all happened before we met you. Before I became the Count of Monte Cristo, before I stopped running. Running from what? I told you the story of my escape from prison from the Chateau d'If. Of course. You were picked up by smugglers. Smugglers? Yes. One of them was Jacopo. One was Alfredo Secchi. And another one was Antonio Cavalcanti? No. Antonio Cavalcanti is another part of the story. First came my rescue from the sea. I was lucky. The lookout on the smugglers' boat spotted me through the spyglass just as I was reaching the point of complete exhaustion. A few minutes more would have seen the end of me. But in spite of the danger to themselves from the patrol boats, my new friends risked their lives to pick me up. To me, that day was the turning point, the day on which I started to live again. For a while, I became one of the band. We had many adventures together, some exciting ones and some sad ones, eh, Jacopo? Was that where Jacopo was tortured? Yes. That's where he lost his tongue to safeguard the secret of my escape. But one day our boat was wrecked on the shores of Sicily, in a town called Catania. We found shelter for ourselves and what baggage we had saved in an unused shack by the cliffs. While Alfredo Secchi went to see his father who had a farm on the island, hoping that he would help us to find a new boat. There were four of us who were cast ashore. Jacopo, myself, Alfredo Secchi and uh, Benedetto. Yes, Benedetto. It's stupid. That's what it is, stupid. You said that before, Benedetto. And you paid little enough attention to it. If Alfredo is recognized, it means that we could all be caught. Are you saying Alfredo should have stayed here? How could he have helped us? His going out across the island is like putting his head into the lion's mouth. We need a new boat, Benedetto. We're more likely to get the gallows. Major Cavalcanti has sworn to hang every smuggler that sets foot on Sicily. The good Major is not alone in his wish. We are not exactly popular with the authorities. This Cavalcanti knows his business. That's why Alfredo should have never stirred out of this shack. He should have never left the shack. Alfredo? Alone? Have you been followed? Did anyone see you? Safe enough for the moment. Did you see your father? No. No! It's no use. My father can't help us. Fine, fine. So we risked our necks for nothing. Something is worrying you, Alfredo. What is it? They took away his farm. Everything he owned. They tricked him, cheated him. And they threw him into jail. An old sick man, they threw him into jail. Into jail where? At Catania. I talked to some of my father's friends. You what? It's all right. They feel as badly about his treatment as I do. All right, Alfredo. The authorities jailed your father. We'll unjail him. Are you out of your mind? But we need horses. Can you get them? Yes, from my father's friends, but, but when? Tonight. Tonight? You're going to leave me out of your crazy schemes. Good, kind Benedetto. Always ready to help a friend. Come on. You too, Jacopo. If you get nervous, Sicily is very close to Italy. You can start swimming. What 
you fear is a gun. It would be wise to be still and silent. Bend your head. Close your eyes. Get him out. I read all my son. To the horses. It's nice to admire a dead hero, but not so nice to be one. Don't make a move until we are gone. Seen? No, no one saw us see the Benedetto. This is Benedetto who's been holding the fort in our absence. Oh, you're fine men, but fools with Major Cavalcanti sworn to hang everyone. Would we on? let a friend's father rot in jail? Oh, I'm a hot-headed old fool paying for his own stupidity. No more. And now, a helpless old man watching his son and his friends put their heads on Cavalcanti's chopping block. Oh, why? Why? Would you do less for us? Here, have some wine. Thanks. What else can I say but thanks? You can tell us what happened that landed you in jail. Drought, poor crops. I had to borrow money to keep the farm going. Yes, from Monte Vito, the banker in Catania. He wanted his money back and threatened... I offered to deed a portion of the farm to Monte Vito to pay the debt. But he tricked me. There were two sets of papers. I think I know the rest. You signed two sets of paper, but you only read one. So when the police came to take the farm, father fought them, hit Monte Vito, and he threw him into jail. It sounds as if Signor Montevideo is a very tricky man. Tricky? Huh. Search the private vault at his bank and you'll find proof he's cheated everyone on the island. Not that you'll get the chance to search it. Montevideo's much too tricky for that. We may have a few tricks of our own. Jacopo, look in the luggage. Get the clothes that we got from that man from Livorno. We need some pens and some paper and a steady hand for a good job of forgery. What new piece of insanity is this you're thinking of? Insanity, Benedetto. You always look on the black side, don't you? You think that? I think you'll be back on your farm in no time. Well, if it isn't the brave, dashing, and oh so handsome, Major Cavalcanti. Eugenia. I should have added the word impetuous. I'm not sure my uncle would approve. Oh, Signor Montevideo asked me to come here this morning. The bank's a beehive of activity and anticipation. What's happening? Oh, a visit from a personage. A baron from France, no less. Uncle wanted you to be here. Oh, so you... Major. Good, good. So glad you could come. I want you to meet a very important person. So Eugenia tells me. But you know how busy I am, sir. You? Well, following that raid on the jail. So unless my presence here is important to you... Oh, but it is very important. You see, the famous Baron Duval is visiting Catania. He is contemplating buying an estate and making his home here. I'm glad, but I don't see how this concerns me. Well, the Baron's letter shows some concern about possible banditry in the island, and I want you to reassure him. Uh, well, now, uh, think what a wonderful thing it will be for Sicily if the Baron decides to settle here. I mean, the prestige alone. Yes, sir. Not to speak of the money you would make out of it. Selling the Baron an estate, banking his funds. I assure you I was only thinking of how the Baron's presence would benefit the whole island. Of course, sir. But if you expect me to tell lies... Please, Major. Baron Duval. I am delighted and honoured, Your Lordship. And may I present my niece, Eugenia? Molto piacere, signorina. Major Cavalcanti. Major? Baron Duval. And now, Your Lordship, if I could be at your service? Yes, uh, I was thinking of opening an account here for this amount. A draft on a Paris bank for a million? Oh, Your Lordship. Uh, that's provided I decided to bank here. Oh, uh, this is the largest bank of the island and naturally the safest. It would be unthinkable for Your Lordship to bank elsewhere. Of course, in Paris I have my own private vault. Private vault? 
Yes, sir. <laughs> Naturally. I don't expect a bank in Sicily to provide similar accommodations. Sir. You underestimate us, Your Lordship. Why, my own private vault, which I should be delighted to place at your disposal, is more safe and more burglar-proof than any in Europe. Oh, you have a private vault? Certainly, my lord. Well, uh, in this case, uh, if I could see it... You don't even have to ask. I shall be delighted to show it to you at once. One moment, Your Lordship. Yes, Signorina. The Baron Duval, of course. When did you last see Mercedes, Signor? Mercedes? Mercedes? I know who the Baron is now. His love for Mercedes is surely well known in Marseille. La Signorina is very well informed. You will please dine with my uncle and myself tonight. Major Cavalcanti will be there. I would like to hear more of Mercedes at your leisure. I'll be very happy, Signorina. Yes, yes, and, and now the vault. I'm sure you'll find it to your satisfaction. There. It's my proud boast that that's completely burglar-proof and entirely safe. Make no more of our sound. I get it. Keep still, all of you. <laughs> I'm sorry, sir. If anyone else moves, I'll have to shoot. I get to the wall. Turn your backs and keep quite still. Oh. Major, are you all right? I'll survive. They got away. Oh. Where is the alarm? You fool! They got away! I'll tell you one thing. Before I die, you'll see everyone connected with this crime hanged by the neck. Is that a promise, Major? That's a promise, Baron. We have found not only the second deed to your father's farm, but enough evidence to send Montevideo to prison for life. Not enough jewels to keep us in luxury for life. Forget the jewels. Take this to your father. He'll know what to do with it. How can we ever thank you? Forget it. Jacopo. And Benedetto. While I'll dine at Montevideo's house tonight, you'll take this back to the bank. Intact, Benedetto. Give back the jewels? That's what I said. But I want my share. I hope to rob the bank. We robbed the bank for proof, not for money. But I'm entitled to something. You are entitled to something. Here. That's all the money we have amongst us. Now get out! Not me. I want those jewels. Don't be a fool, Benedetto. Put away that knife! <laughs> He may cause us some harm. That's a chance we'll have to take. Jacopo, you'll take back the box. You know what to do. You take those papers to your father. With luck, another day she'll see this business completed. nice of you to join us this evening, Baron. It is very kind of you to say so. But I have a feeling you have other things to say, less trivial. Oh, I wanted to show you my gardens. Aren't they lovely? A garden reflects the nature of one who cares. This is beautiful. <laughs> your words are like your costume, Baron. Both are not only fanciful, but unreal. Then we can talk more frankly. Of Mercedes? You know me. 
I know you resemble a man named Edmund Dantes, who was falsely accused and sentenced to life imprisonment in the dungeons of Chateau d'If. How do you know this? Edmund Dantes was about to be married to a beautiful young girl. She mourned him for years before marrying another, leaving him dead. And you think I am Edmund Dantes? The girl's name was Mercedes. I knew her well. I saw you visit her, Senor, many times. Why didn't you betray me this morning? Perhaps because my heart has always bled for a man unjustly imprisoned. Just as it bleeds for all those on the receiving end of my uncle's injustices. Like Roberto Secchi. But what I cannot understand is, what is the purpose of your visit here? Hey, hey! That's the man. It's no use. Thanks to Benedetto here, we know you for a smuggler and a thief. Indeed. A grave accusation on the word of an obvious scoundrel. I presume you have other proof. Your man, Jacopo, was caught half an hour ago attempting to break into the bank. He had also killed the night watchman. You're under arrest. Oh. Eugenia! I heard about your copa, so I came at once. I've got two horses. Good. Let's get out of here. You betrayed Jacopo. You killed the watchman. You betrayed me. Tell me, why shouldn't I kill you right now? Please. Please. Whether you ever see the light of day again, it will depend on you. You're going to help us get Jacopo out of jail. Now, do you all understand? I want no mistakes. You will stay hidden here inside the jail until I blow my whistle. At that signal, you will come out ready for action. Any questions? That will be all. To your post. No, sir. The prisoners are hungry. If you see the old man with the slobs, hurry him along, will you, please, sir? Well, Monsieur Jacopo, it won't be long now. Either your friends will be killed or they'll be in here. Keep you coming. <laughs> Make haste, the men are hungry. and ready. It will take a small army to break into that jail and escape again. Good. But you mark my words. He'll show up all right. These smugglers always stick together, even to the death. An ambush is not to my taste, senor. But the governor has instructed me to follow your orders. Just let him show his face on that street tonight and he'll be shot down like a dog. Haven't you done enough harm with your cheating and stealing? Must you add murder to the list of your crimes? Murder, my dear? To eradicate a bank robber is a public service. I have a feeling that we haven't much longer to wait. They got him. All right. Bring the body up here at once. History repeats itself, my friend. You'll do exactly as I tell you. 
Excuse me, Senor Major. Huh? Who are you? I am Roberto Secchi. Secchi? The farmer who escaped from jail? I am your prisoner and I'm not armed. But please, will you read this document? Oh, not now. Please, now, Senor. The man who called himself the Baron, this is Benedetto. He's tricked me. Good luck to you and your father. Goodbye. Signor Montevideo, you are under arrest. Sechi, Roberto Sechi. Arrest that man. Major. I shall return to jail to await the decision of the court. That will not be necessary, senor. Just hold yourself available at your own farm. Thank you, Major. Take him away. It's all over. It's all over. Not quite. I promised to hang the men connected with a crime. I still have to keep that promise. That's what happened on the island of Sicily all those years ago, Rico. That's where we met Cavalcanti. Now, the Sicilian ambassador is the same man. He still has a promise unfulfilled. And what if he should recognize the two of you? I'm an escaped prisoner from Chateau d'If. Jacopo and I are wanted for smuggling and bank robbery. Only Cavalcanti has the answer to that. General Cavalcanti, sir. He'll get the answer soon enough. He's here. Go and meet him, Jacopo. No. Your Excellency, may I introduce my dear friends, Jacopo and Rico. Monsieur le Comte. My wife, Eugenia, this is... The Count of Monte Cristo. Madame. My dear, the Count must be curious about our visit. Ah, yes. Your recent gift to the people of my country was a most magnificent gesture in time of need. The government of Sicily, on behalf of itself and its citizens, wishes to express its gratitude and appreciation. It does me great honor and pleasure to award you the most distinguished Sicilian order of merit. Congratulations, Monsieur Le Comte. Thank you, Your Excellency. My congratulations. We will be so pleased if you would dine with us this evening. Madame. Please, don't say no. The last time I asked you, you didn't disappoint me. Remember? Memories can be deceptive. It is better to forget the past and live in the present. Please dine with us, Count. It shall be an honor. Till later, then. <laughs> hey, man. <laughs> Jacopo? To the past, Jacopo. And to the future, Rico. To the future.